looking below the surface for a cure. CCTV's Nitsa Soledad Perez explains why the ocean is becoming the new frontier in the fight against cancer. Could the cure for certain types of cancer be under the sea? Well, scientists at Florida Atlantic University and around the world believe it is. Sponges, which are living animals, produce different chemicals. Some of these invertebrates found off the coast of Florida contain compounds that fight pancreatic, breast and ovarian cancer. What we're looking for is, is the caffeine, the thing that's going to give you that kick. What is the one single chemical, one molecule that's responsible for, for example, killing cancer cells? These are the kinds of machines used for deep water exploration. Some of them are manned, others are like underwater vacuum cleaners. Once the sponges are collected, the chemicals get isolated. And then comes the inevitable question from cancer patients. Is it a clinically available? And for me, the most heartbreaking thing is that it, it can take anywhere from, you know, five years to 15 years till it's, it's clinically av available because it has to go through in the United States through FDA um, clinical trials. The National Cancer Institute is conducting various research studies. One of them is for a drug called Erebulin. It could be the cure for a common type of bone cancer. But time and costs are factors in getting approval. The chemical structure of the initial molecule that led to erebulin was so complex that chemists had to take years to understand how to even synthesize that molecule. And their work on trying to match nature's ability to make that molecule led them to discover new reactions in chemistry. Erebulin is already approved to treat late stages of breast cancer. Another sponge derivative drug, citerabin, is used for the treatment of leukemia. And what's next? I really believe that a cure for pancreatic cancer is going to come from Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute at Florida Atlantic University. We're almost there. More than 95% of the world oceans are still unexplored. Researchers believe that other diseases could be cured by the wonders of the sea. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CCTV, Miami.